Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the channel Smarter Day by Day. Hope you guys will be fine. Let's go towards our today topic. What we will discuss today Arduino UNO main components. What are the main components of Arduino UNO board? So, before discussing the components, let's have a look at Arduino board how it looks like. There is the Arduino UNO board. We will discuss each component of the Arduino UNO board and the functionality of each component. What is the functionality of microcontroller, USB port, and power port? We will discuss all of these in detail. So, what are the components? Let's first have let's first have a look. These are level here. The first one is the reset switch. Second one is the USB connector. That is the USB interface chip. Crystal oscillator. That is the voltage regulator. That is the power port. Microcontroller. Analog input pin. These are the transmitter and receiver LEDs. These are the digital pens. Now we will discuss the functionality of each component. So these are the components which I already told about it. USB connector, power port, microcontroller, analog input pens, digital pens, reset switch, crest oscillator, USB interface, TX, RX LEDs. Now we will discuss the functionality of each component. USB connector. That one is the USB connector. So what is the functionality of USB connector in the Arduino board? This is a printer USB port used to load a program from the Arduino IDE onto the Arduino board. The board can also be powered through this port. So what is the functionality of USB connector in the Arduino board? It is used to load a program from the Arduino IDE to the Arduino board. What is mean by Arduino IDE? In which we prepare program for the Arduino. We can provide the power to the Arduino also through this USB port. But the main functionality of this port is to load a program from the Arduino ID to the Arduino board. Next component is the power port. What? That one is the power port. Which provides the power to the Arduino board. The Arduino board can be powered through an AC-DC adapter or a battery. The power source connected by plugging in a 2.1 mm central positive plug into the power jack of the power of the board that pen is used to be plugged in into that power port which provides power to the arduino board arduino board operates at a voltage of 5 volt so our arduino board only operates at 5 volt but it can withstand with a maximum voltage of 20 volts if the board is supplied with a higher voltage what will what will happen there is an voltage regulator it sits between the power port and usb connector that protects the board from burning out our arduino uno board only operates at 5 volt if we provide voltage higher so what happens to it there is an voltage regulator i will show you guys here uh, here it is. Let me show it to you guys. Here it is located. That is the voltage regulator which protects the board from burning out. If we provide higher voltage from 5 volt, it provides only the required voltage to the board. My, our next component is the microcontroller. The black chip you can see here on the Arduino board. It acts as a main processor of the Arduino board. It is the most important part of the Arduino UNO board. Let's have an overview of the 
microcontroller these are the pens level here you can see it here it has 28 pins and it is the most prominent black rectangular chip with 28 pins think of it as a brain of your or you know, as i already told you guys that it acts as a brain of the arduino uno board next component is analog input pins level from 0 to 5 it means that it has six analog input pins as shown here 0 1 2 3 4 5 so it has six analog input pins arduino you know what has six analog input pins level from analog 0 to 5 these pins can read the signal from analog sensor like temperature sensor and convert it into digital values so that the system understands these analog pins stack The signals from the analog sensor like temperature sensor and convert it into digital values so that the system understand digital fans level from 0 to 13 level from 0 to 13 these are the digital fans as shown here you can see it very clearly you can find these pins level digital 0 to 13 these pins can be used as either input or output pins these 13 pins digital pins can be used for input purposes as well as for the output purpose can these pins can be used as input or output from the digital pins level with tilt as you can see here tell that one is the tilt file you can see pin 11 10 9 6 5 3 1 and 0 what does it mean it means that the symbol next to the pin numbers pin 3 5 6 9 10 and 11 these pins act as a normal digital pins but can also be used for pulse width modulation. It's shown here digital pins with PWM tilt. So these pins are used for pulse width modulation. Reset switch, the most important. Shown here if you want to repeat your program multiple times, you have to just press that reset pin switch and your program will be repeat multiple times when the switch is clicked it sends a logical pulse to the reset pin of microcontroller and now runs the program again from the start as i told you if you want to repeat your program you have to just press the reset switch it will send a pulse to the microcontroller and that is the microcontroller and your program will be starts from the beginning again Crystal oscillator is the next component shown here. That one is the crystal oscillator. What this is a quad crystal oscillator which takes 16 million times a second. On each tick, the microcontroller performs one operation, for example, addition and subtraction. Crystal oscillator, what is the functionality? It takes 16 million times a second. On each tick, the microcontroller performs one operation, for example, addition, subtraction. Next component is the Atmega 16U2. You can see here it is mentioned here. It acts as an interface between the USB and the microcontroller, as shown here. That one is the and mega 16u2 here is shown it is a, as a bridge between the usb port and the microcontroller i will show the functionality in more detail think of it as a signal translator it converts the signal in the usb level to level then are it in arduino you know board understands at mega 16 microcontroller used to create a bridge between the port of the main processor 
in USB port of the Arduino board as shown here. That is the Atmega 16U2. It is used to build a bridge between the USB port and the main processor. So they will communicate with each other through this Atmega 16U2. Next component is RX TX LED shown here. TX stands for transmitter, RX stands for receiver. These are the indicator LEDs which blinks whenever a UNO board is transmitting or receiving data. When a UNO board transmits the data, so TX LED will start blinking and when it receives the data rx led will start blinking so that's all thanks for watching if you like the video please subscribe the channel press the bell icon and if you have any question you can ask in the comment section thank you